What's going on, Capricorn? This is Solo69, and welcome to my channel. I am here for your, um, I was going to say May, but no, June 2021 general reading. Some of you may have something wandering off from May into June, so just take that and run with it because, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm here for your June reading, general reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or wherever it falls into your chart. Please take out the time to like, subscribe, and share if you care. And you already know that this reading may not resonate for all you Capricorns. So if it doesn't, check with your other placements or either just come back a little later, which we're really in the middle of it now, so you should be good. Um, I got two songs popped in my mind, and I think both of them are pretty legit. You know what I'm saying? One of them is Silver and Gold. Silver and gold, I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. No fame or fortune, no riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. You know what I mean? Okay, the melody was all the way off, so don't worry about that part. It's all about the message in it. So some of you are dealing with situations maybe where you are dealing with materialistic things coming towards you. Um, this could be a test, you know, to see, um, to test your commitment on something, to test your um, strength on something, to see if you're ready to move into another stage. So you could be getting um, bombed with certain gifts, certain things, silver and gold, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this could be a test to see who you put first. Do you put the material realm first or do you put the spiritual realm first? Do you put God first or do you put, you know, the, the other person or the other situation, you know? Um, the next song came out. Hold on. Let me think about it. Cause I forgot. Okay, the funny thing is, is the next song I actually forgot, but then it got replaced. So I, I know this is going to sound crazy, but keep on. What's the name of the song? Don't stop till you get enough. Keep on. Some, some, some. <laughs> it's Michael Jackson, yo. Don't stop till you get enough. And I've heard this. It came out around September. Apparently, I didn't know that Michael Jackson was a Virgo until Michael Jackson started coming in on me real hard. Um and was not playing no game so this is about pushing through a situation keep on don't stop don't stop till you get enough that means enough of what you need enough of what you got coming towards you if it's coming towards you don't and you see it coming towards you then that means you need to start aiming towards it because always keep your eyes on the prize capricorn anyway jumpy that's what's up Let's go ahead and get into this reading, Capricorn, and see what's going on for you for June 2021. Keep on. Give your voice some stuff. Don't stop till you get enough. Mm, mm, mm. I wish I knew what he was saying, uh, but I don't know because he was falsettoing <laughs> all through it. Falsetto. Some of you could be. Uh, speaking loud above your voice normal your normal voice tone if you're raising your voice calm down don't raise your voice and yell you don't got no reason to thank you for your wisdom guidance and understanding this is for capricorn please show me the, the message the divine message for capricorn for june 2021 please yeah this song is in my head now for real real so it's like really going down right that fell off the table so we got expect powerful change here coming in for you this is something that's hidden this is something that came in with that eclipse that was here on the 10th and so you know you're about to uncover some um information or something is about to be uncovered capricorn so we have the first card that came out talking about the energy is gaining momentum, but this is in reverse. So some things that may seem like they were heating up, some things that may seem like they were growing towards you. It could be dying down. You could be dealing with any air sign, but I do strong. I strongly see Gemini energy there. And we also got don't let the pride, don't let pride get in your way. 
Some of you could be dealing with a Leo or have Leo in your chart highly aspected at this time. So here's the thing, right? Um, this fell off the table. So don't let pride get in your way. I don't think that's something that you have to worry about. This is completely off the table. Or for some of you, some of you have already let pride get in the way. And so this is off the table at this point. We're going to get into this more and clarify that, of course. But let's see. These are two separate energies, the way they jumped out. It's up to you if you want to place them together or not, however it chooses to resonate with you better. Run it. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what these cards could be pertaining to. We have the energy is gaining momentum in reverse here, along with don't let pride get in your way here. Could have something to do with something that you may love to do, doing for fun. You could find it as a hobby, but you could also possibly make money off of this situation as well. It could be some type of new program for you. Who knows? But it's all about not letting pride get in your way. And also don't waste your time using your hobbies um, as grief work when you can probably make money off of it. Meaning to help people who doesn't deserve to be helped or given to situations that really are not worth it. Just because you may see it as something that you love to do in some sort of hobby doesn't mean that you're not taking your energy and using it and people can suck you dry of your energy if you let them, especially when you're dealing with new relationships with friends, family, or other just people in generally. Some people could be coming into your life and recognizing this new, this thing that's new, yeah, and wanting to welcome it into, you know, into their life, but not willing to, um give resources or help or whatever in return so some people just want to take but not want to give you know what i mean thank you for your wisdom guidance and understanding this is for capricorn sun moon rising here so when it comes to the energy is gaining momentum in reverse and we got this don't let pride get in your way that fell off the table hmm let's see show me what this is pertaining to please for capricorn Capricorn, I feel the energy of pay grade rising. I feel the energy of something that you may need to do for money, but you're probably not. Um, I'm catching this energy of stop doing stuff for free. Hmm. Boom. There it is. And so we got, um, I don't know why. I Whoop. There it is. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> fuck is going on with these songs um so we got tag team back again so somebody could be getting tag teamed on the situation here um yeah um be careful on that energy because being tag teamed you know you don't know if you're the one that's you know getting teamed up on or if you're a part of this team that's tagging each other so either way to me, if it's negative, just pull back from it. Find your peace and go sit in a, a corner some damn where by yourself and <laughs> just chill. This is not that energy of feeling stupid or danced energy like I felt. And I believe that was, uh, it might have been um, Scorpio or Sagittarius reading because it was a lot of fire going off in those readings. Um, you could probably need to watch those readings. But this is about bringing something in that's new, welcoming the new. Somebody could be welcoming you in. You could be a new hot commodity, um, new kid on the block. You know what I mean? Whatever the case is. But it's about um, welcoming the newness into your life, welcoming the newness um, that's surrounding you or knowing when to not welcome certain things in versus welcoming other things in. This could have a lot to do with your creativity as well. Um, it could also be bringing the shadow of side of you um, out. But I don't feel like this shadow side coming out is a bad thing. I feel peace surrounding it. Um, and creativity, almost like, say, for instance, if someone upset you, maybe. Let's just use that as an example. And instead of you blowing your guns, firing off the wrong way, you know what I mean? It's about using those guns to create, you know, meaning like instead of firing it off, firing off at someone that can land you in a place like jail or something, go hunt, <laughs> go fire off at a bird or go fire. I'm not trying to excuse me, God, because I'm not trying to talk about sending people to go kill your nature and 
Oh, shit. I just went to the zoo. Okay, I, I feel kind of jacked. But, you know, I'm just saying, like, instead of firing off at the negative, fire off at something that's meaningful that, that can actually feed you. You know, put food in your belly. You know what I mean? Use your time um, a little bit more valuable um, than that because you, you're you already being shown that, you know, the mirror image of what you could be doing versus what you are doing. So take that and run with it. So we do got this welcoming the new coming in and it's all about having the motivation, motivation to go through and deal with certain things. Even if you're dealing with adult children, it's about remaining clear minded with sobriety here and making firm decisions that's coming in. Look at this. It's just showing up, you know, making firm decisions. And so you can be true to yourself when it comes down to the work that you do, like I was talking about with this grief work making sure you don't give off to the wrong people with the wrong energies that'll just sit back and suck and suck and suck you dry you know what i mean dealing with new relationships and new dynamics of different people coming around make sure you pay attention to the signs you'll be giving signs that could be bringing different finances and stability into your life so it's all about getting rest you know so yeah this is what you could be welcoming in but it's all about making sure that you're making the right choices on what you're welcoming in or what you're allowing yourself to be welcome to, you know? Let's go ahead and get into a storyline so we can break this down. This could have something to do with um, a company. Um, also getting something that is well-deserved to you, maybe a piece of the pie or, you know, just a, a start of finances, some type of stability coming in for you. Here, um, we definitely have some type of partnering up, uh, maybe with something that's extremely stable. I feel like stability is a, is a major broadcast for you here, Scorpio. Why did I say Scorpio? Could be dealing with the Scorpio, but Capricorn, I'm talking about you. I actually want to say Sagittarius, too. And I know that I'm not in their energy. Because I've been kind of pacing myself doing these readings when I normally just put them in back to back. So, no. Hmm. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. You need to check those readings. Like I said, it's a lot of fire going off in those readings, so beware. Anyway, yeah, some type of balance or something needs to take place here. Let's get it. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding here. Capricorn. Got a lot going on in your energy. It's like, I want to rock with you all night. Dance you into things. You hear me? So... Somebody may feel like they they rocking with you, yo. They feeling you, you know, whether it's a friend or um, someone that may have a little secret crush or something like that. But somebody wants to rock with you. Someone likes the way that you're moving things and they rocking with you, you know, whether they just, you know, they may not want to tell you that. But some of some people may feel that verge of saying, you know, I, I rock with that person. That person is what's up. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyway, when it comes to the storyline. For you, Capricorn, for June 2021, please show me the message. I don't know why I feel like the reading is going to be short, but I could be wrong. Who knows? Yeah, we got the six of baskets at the bottom of the deck. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. So we are dealing with something, something from the past here. Something that could be off the table, something that you may have allowed pride to get in your way of, or something that is just, there is no reason to be prideful. There is no reason to, to look at this situation in any other way. So there is, it's just off the table, you know, but this may have a big, uh, you know, a big, piece of, you know, this could be a spiritual gift that you're dealing with here. A gift that came that, that you may have had as a child, something that you may have rested on, but now it's time to take action into. Um, yeah, you could have um, walked away emotionally from this gift, but now it's back around for you to take and run with. I want to rock with you. Hey, I feel like the spiritual realm wants to rock with you, Capricorn, when it comes down to this energy here. You definitely got uh, Miss Robinson, which will be talking about death here. 
at the bottom of the deck. Now, this is someone, um, this is in reverse energy. So there's an, um, there's a transformation that has not taken place. There's an ending here that has not taken place. This is, um, there's some, there's also some type of dark magic work. I'm just being honest. That has not taken place here. This is something that's from the past. And with this energy coming in with this son of sticks here, this is definitely some type of spiritual gift that's ex extreme that's, to me, only God can give you or only God can allow you to have here. I feel like you are putting this to rest or something is being put to rest here. Capricorn. Um, are you been are you just been resting on this energy, even though you um I feel like you carry the truth around your belt. I feel like you carry the truth around your waist. I don't know how to really break that down. Um weird to speak on but yeah there's a lot of truth that you hold close to you but i feel like you can sit and put rest to a situation you're just resting on it maybe it's not your business maybe it's not your place to speak on so therefore it's just a lot of rest being put down on the situation but that i feel like you you're being told to this is a part of your transitioning that you may need to take it about and it's about welcoming this new energy but like i say being careful on who you give this energy to all right, let's go ahead and start clarifying. Now, we'll be using the Tattoo Tarot to clarify. This will be the last um, couple of readings that I will be using this on to clarify my cards. Clarifying cards did come up stolen, but I have recreated some that will work with me just fine for now. So, But I felt like it was only fair. To continue to use the tattoo tarot since I've used them with all the other general readings until I'm complete with the general readings. Someone is manifesting here a new beginning, a pentacle, and a new stability line of something. Something tangible. Definitely someone has some enlightenment to a situation. Now they know and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Capricorn, why you got me tripping like this? <laughs> All right, anyway. Yeah, somebody is definitely enlightened to a situation when it comes down to some type of stability here. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding for Capricorn. Let's go ahead and clarify here. So we got, like I say, the energy is growing momentum, and this is in reverse. So let's talk about it. When it comes to the energy is gaining momentum for Capricorn, hmm, can you please clarify? The energy is gaining momentum in reverse. Please clarify. All right. I feel like something definitely, if it's not gaining momentum, it's, it's losing it, right? So something is winding down. Something is winding down. All right, so we got this Knave of Wands energy. This is that flighty energy, fast action energy, in and out energy. Papa was a rolling stone. Mm -mm. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. Energy. <laughs> um, I don't know what you got going on in your life, but we definitely got a Ten of Swords energy here. Someone is... Um, Someone has put something to rest, but they're stuck in that energy with it dreadfully. It's, it's like someone is stabbing someone while they're already down. Someone is, someone has already, you know, this, this situation, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this situation is already over with. I did say when I saw the energy is gaining momentum, I was, I was pointed to look at the birds and Gemini energy did stand out very strong to me. So with this coming out with this, it does make me feel like there could be a air sign involved to this situation here. Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. This does not have to be that person's exact sign. Let me go ahead and make sure you understand that. But checking your birth chart is extremely important. If you don't understand your birth chart. It's really good to get with someone that does. I know how to read birth charts, but not the way other people read birth charts. I just have some type of weird spiritual gift when it comes to it, to where I can look at it and 
I don't read shit. I just talk. So, yeah, that part. But so, you know, if you need someone to really break down your birth chart to help you understand it to the degree that you can go back and look at it and understand it yourself, I would not be the person to come to for that. But if you just need someone to read the personalities um, by just the glance of the 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 pie, the pie wheel, I got you, you know, on that part. But that's about it. <laughs> so anyway, I do feel like if you, you know, you might need to check and see if you have any um, Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius in your birth chart. But I do see strong Gemini energy coming out here. But something something is over with. But while it's over with. It's almost like somebody's still trying to drive knives into this situation or super kill it. Like, this is super dead. Like, how many times are you going to run over the dead raccoon on the side of the road? Are you going to keep on that? If they move it out the road to the side of the road and you still try to find a way to hit it anyway, you're just on some overkill shit. You know what I mean? Period. But let's go ahead and keep going. This is someone that's in and out. Like I say, flighty. We have the devil energy here. This could be you, Capricorn. But I feel like someone looks, you know, is, is real toxic about a fair give and take to a situation. And they may have a lot of options and choices, but not knowing which direction to go, even with how they give messages out to other people here. Could be a little confusion thrown around here so that's kind of strange energy but anyway we got don't let pride get in the way and this is what someone may have done so this is already off the table leo energies you know doesn't mean you have to be a leo of course definitely because we're talking about you capricorn right so far not your energy though let's keep going anyway so when it comes to don't let pride get in your way that shot off the table for capricorn please clarify <clears throat> yeah somebody's overkilling the situation here it goes back to that see how i landed on it all right so we got the six of wands here someone is gaining victory or achievements or feels like they have set a goal to make it towards when it comes down to this this is a situation where i feel like someone has had victory in doing this this may be something normal for them to do we got the four of swords here someone could be meditating and sitting back on the situation this is going back to that air energy here gemini libra and aquarius here someone is has put something to rest um or, or has like i said this overkill energy but I feel like now, you know, someone has kind of got stuck in the position where they let their pride take them too far to a situation. Pridefulness can really get a person in a, believe it or not, a sunken place. Um, especially if they're being too prideful for nothing. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, so I I went ahead and looked up pridefulness, and it's about having excessive attention in yourself, you know, um, putting yourself on this high pedestal that's overwhelming, maybe. Um, some people may feel a certain way about that, you know, jealousy is, 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 is right, right behind pridefulness and envy, you know. Um, which are those are considered not jealousy, but it might as well be because it's a partial part of envy would be considered a seven deadly sin. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Hmm. Let's go ahead and keep on pushing. Let's see. Because somebody has victory. This could be a Gemini definitely here. Someone is just letting their pride get too far, but this is an ending, a, a cycle that's put, that's just, this is a double ending here. Look, double ending when it comes down to some type of partnership. Someone is went too far. Just period. Could be an Aquarian. Doesn't have to be. When it comes to welcome the new, clarify welcome the new for Capricorn. This is about having the motivation. To um, be creative, having the motivation to stand in your power, 
even if you have to um, jump into your masculine energy, if you're a female or a male and you're just, you know, on some chill shit and you're not trying to be ooh, pushy or anything like that. But this is about staying in control. Um, it doesn't mean you have to be out of bounds to a situation, but it's definitely about making sure that you are um, 10 toes on the ground. Be firm and planted. You feel me? All right. So when it comes down to welcoming the new, welcome the new for Capricorn. Clarify, please. All right. So we got this victory here, right? You have victory in welcoming some type of newness into your life. But, huh, somebody may have victory in trying to prevent you from moving forward or they're wanting to have victory. This welcome the new was not, uh, I was kind of wrong. It was in limbo, but not really. It looked like it was coming into the forefront. So this is something that has probably not taken place yet. We look like we have maybe a... This, this is you, Capricorn, with this energy here. This Knight of Coins is definitely your energy, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But I feel like this is you um, having a hard time. You could be stuck moving forward. You're already moving very slow to a situation, but I feel like you're stuck moving forward. And you may feel like you're not able to move at all with this welcome the new, with it sitting somewhat in a limbo. You know, you may think that it's not you're stuck. You may think that you're not moving forward. You may feel like, damn. I ain't getting nowhere with this. Nowhere with this. And But I feel like it is coming in. You just are unaware of how it is because this did come out um, hidden energy um, of stuck. Or you could be simply stuck. There could be a air sign trying to make you stuck and definitely put rest to you in the situation here. You know, I just wish that I could do a reading where... No one is trying to stop someone else's flow. No, you know, like, the hate is real, though. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I guess it, it just it just really makes me look look at a person with a sadness in, in them in a way. Because it's kind of like, what's wrong with you <laughs> to where you feel like you have to put all this energy into trying to stop someone even if it's just i'm thinking about this so much you know i can't stand the fact that this person is trying to move forward why not why not like what is it what is it that you feel so you know jacked and you know that makes you shake up when you see someone else move forward we were all born in this world we all came out the coochie or the stomach one at a time and when we leave, we have to, we, it's, it's only like one casket and one urn or whatever that can fit for us in there. You know, of course they do the double grave digging to where, you know, a parent, you know, rests with the other parent or something of that sort. But at the end of the day, we came in this world alone. We go in this, we, we leave this world alone. So it's like, why, why, why try to, whether it's teaming up, because, but I don't really feel like this is a team up situation. I actually feel like this is a one man show. Someone um, at this point is just overwhelmed by trying to stop someone else. <sighs> you know, it's just sad to me. You know, I just feel sadness to this person because this is all, this is what they're deciding to, you know, when God gives you life. God allows you to go and explore life for what it is in this universal library that we're placed in called Earth. You know, when you find out everything you need to know or what you got to do or, you know, fulfill your fulfillments before you leave this library called Earth, right? And I mean, you know, I just didn't think that it was anything saying, you know, that God said, go, go fuck this person's life up. Go over there and, and sabotage this person. Go stop this person's flow. Go, go take this person's money. Go, you know, what somebody is putting their hard earned in, you know, time and money into or whatever it is to suit them. It's for their creative endeavors. It's for their life. It's for their walk, their path, their spiritual growth. And it's just kind of sad to see that someone is going to the extreme to see this happening. But like I said, that's off the table. And we have this here. Like I said, Ms. Robinson, this is, this is, you know, the death part pretty much in reverse. Someone is just not in this type of death card someone is doing something 
someone is stuck doing something. This this death card. <laughs> this is someone that feels like they have to sprinkle a little extra on on top to 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 get rid of someone. But it's not working. And if it's not working, guess what? The energy has to reverse. It has to go back somewhere. So don't be mad when it returns back to that person. Or that person that who, if you're watching as a cross watcher, or if you're the one that's doing this Capricorn, don't be mad when that shit backfire. Because it has to return back somewhere. And it's not working. This is your facts. This is the truth right here. So when it's not working, don't sit back and assume that someone is doing the same work to them. I mean, to you that you're doing to them. Everyone doesn't think like that. And even if they know of it, doesn't mean that they have to do it. Some people actually walk and talk in the light. For real? <laughs> this, I mean, damn. Anyway, and let me see. When it comes down, this shit is crazy. So someone is overkilling, trying to stop someone's flow and put them to rest. This is what we got so far. Just period. <sighs> When it comes to Ms. Robinson in reverse for this death energy, to be dealing with a Scorpio, please clarify. This is someone who, who, who doesn't mind talking stuff, but doesn't know how to take the heat when they're in the kitchen themselves. It's almost like a bully that will also turn right around and feel threatened because of all the bullying that they've done <laughs> i cannot <laughs> so this is like someone who's who's played in i'm just gonna call it out who's played in in the graveyards right and then the ghosts get mad at them and then that's the only place they got to go but now they don't they can't even go there because They've they've crossed too many lines, even at the graveyard. That's crazy. Somebody has dug a, a grave for someone else. Now they're about to lay in it themselves. Here, this period. Clarify Ms. Robinson in reverse for Capricorn, please. This wanted to come out, but I'm going to put it back in and shuffle. Well, you see it's toxic energy, but Capricorn, this is you, so I'm not trying to call you toxic like that. But this is some type of toxic-ass energy that's going on. Someone is bound to a situation, and they may want someone else, even you, bound to a situation as well. This could be a Gemini here, once again. Two major icons coming out, definitely showing place, placement. So, take that one as you choose. Other than that, let's just keep clear. Something that flew off the table again. Okay, yeah, it flew off with that one, so I got to make sure I pay attention to how that fell. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have choices. Okay, we talked about this in our last video, for real. Options. Hater? Nope. Want to see a player get paper? Yep. Traitor? Loyal to my soil, not a faker? Ah. Sleep? Best, what he say, bust hella moves active in the streets. Yep. Call him a narc. Nope. But a shark. Yep. So this could be about having different choices and options here. You know what I mean? To, to make decisions firmly in a situation. Making sure that you don't make the wrong decision based on your feelings and emotions. This is about, wait, wait, wait. We're going to talk about this one first. Look. The Queen of Coins comes out. This is about the Queen of Coins. Either This is you, Capricorn. This is your energy about not letting pride get in your way that's off the table. Some of you had completely just dropped your pride. Diamond in the rough is coming back again. Video was I definitely think that might have been the Scorpio video. You might need to check out the Scorpio video. We are clarifying the Scorpio energy here with the death card. So, Diamond in the Rough is coming out again. 
Someone is definitely want to put rest to this damn queen of coins energy. Someone wants them to stop what they're doing. Let's see what fell off the table along with this because we got this five of swords. Someone doesn't want to be fighting. Someone has, this is a cancer maybe energy that doesn't want to fight or that's stuck in a battle. Stuck in this energy. This is stuck. Stuck in this energy um, that's manipulative. That's this queen of coins in reverse that she's off the table. This is a cancer. She's off the table. This is um, cancer Gemini energy as well. Um, an air sign, water sign energy here that's really close and tech. Um, but the cancer of it all is off the table. But the, the, the conflict and all the things that comes along with it, you know, that's still here. But this cancer, this negative cancer, this is someone who has a lot of mental issues. Um, this is someone who could be um, stirring up trouble. This also is someone who may seem one way but really present themselves as another way. So you just got to be careful with this type of energy. There is no nurturing here in this energy. This is someone who may pretend to nurture a situation. You got to take this person's mask off. Now, what we see in here with this five of coins energy here, this is that, like I say, they're stuck in conflict. They're stuck doing, you know, anything by all means to see what they can get done out of the situation here. And Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is here as well. But this, the conflict is still hovering. That's what I'm seeing. So I guess this is why there's, um, the death card is in reverse. This is not taking place and someone is going to be stuck. So this person is off the table right here. Um, definitely so it's two women here one of them is off the table are two people here two queens whether male or female is just the energy of this energy whoever this is capricorn this is you i see working hard like you do you're a capricorn this is you you're the queen of fucking you're the queen of pen i mean queen of coins you're the queen of pentacles you're that person you can be a little bit messy about how you work you can leave shit here or there everywhere who knows but at the end of the day, your work shows for itself. And the grind that you put into a situation, it shows for itself. But, you know, someone wanted you stuck in conflict. Someone did not want an ending to be put placed here. So they wanted you stuck in conflict. Point blank, period. But whoever this is that wanted you stuck in conflict, that wanted you to be treated crazy, drove crazy, made insane to a situation cuckoo for a cold cold puffs and it ain't even no cereal or milk with this you know what i mean nothing here no type of chocolate flavor it's just bs all the way around you know um as long as you stay clear-minded you'll be fine here some of you could definitely be dealing with um because I ain't going to lie, for some reason, I started y'all reading, and I just started catching gas, yo. So, some of you could be dealing with gas, and, you know, I don't know what to say about that part. Whether it's gas in your car, gas in your belly, gas company, I don't know. But you might need to pay attention to the gas, or gassing up a situation. You know, like, you know, gas lighting a situation. You could be dealing with someone who's gas lighting a situation. You know, and that's liable to blow up at any given time. So you have to be careful with that as well, Capricorn. Let's go ahead. Capricorn, I feel like you're definitely dealing with your opposing sign with this cancer jumping out. I want to just see that again. There's conflict. Some of you could definitely be having conflict, inner conflict, conflict with yourself, dual energy here. Or someone may want you to put that other energy into rest because they're so used to you having that negative energy. Because when you're dealing with dual energy, yes, you're dealing with, you, you're fighting with self. And so some someone could want you to be putting the, the positive energy to rest and come out with the negative energy. You know what I mean? And I feel like whoever this is may be stuck trying to do this to where when it, it's backfiring on them and they don't even realize it. Just be quiet, Capricorn, and watch the show. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. Please give me some advice for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Advice or motivation. I feel like this is kind of short, Capricorn.
Okay, now that gas had a smell that was like, whoa, whoa. So, you know, some of you need to watch what you're eating, including me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got to be careful on how things are trying to transition into your life. You got to watch that because you are a swan. You are a, something very beautiful. Everything has to fall in place in its own synchronicity. Domino effect, the way that it needs to fall in place, the cause and effects of everything is here. You know, it's almost like there are, you know, consequences and repercussions to all the actions that's taken to a situation here. Karma, karma does, you know, come back around and it doesn't play no games in the situation. You could definitely be dealing with transformation and you paying attention to your intuition. Things that you have not done at one point, you're starting to do. This is about coming into yourself to restore yourself. Some of you need to rest. Some of you may be looking for some type of surprises or something that's going to come in towards you, some type of great shift. There could be something trying to stop this shift or trying to hold it back, but just keep back because you, as long as you know that there's a cause and an effect to everything, especially when dealing with communication, somebody may want, want to be praised to a situation and some people could be just hella dishonest about certain things, looking for some type of praises and stuff with different options. Um, when it comes down to partnering up with people, even in a sacred union some people may want to stay within a sacred union with you so they make certain things seem another way and they really just want to keep you i feel like it's, it's like okay capricorn i know you're the devil i get it this ain't talking about you mm. 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 no this ain't talking about you but i feel like there is like a devil energy that does you know because the devil can snatch up any soul you know what i mean that that's due to them you know what i mean but I feel like this is this is this is an energy that uh, why am I catching empaths slash narcissists energy like this is someone who would not want nothing to do with you if you wanted them. But yet at the same time they cannot stand the fact that you don't want them. You want to move forward and not dependent on them or something like that. And it's like. This is a this makes that person feel crippled a little bit. So yeah, what we have here is you know someone maybe this is no surprise. <laughs> you may have dealt with this situation before, whether it's not the same situation. It could be the energies that's very um, familiar to you. So I feel like you've been here, done this. You can get through it again because it's nothing new. So same shit, different day. That's what I feel, Capricorn. And on that note. I'm going to go ahead and end your reading. Please like, subscribe, and share if you care. And I hope you enjoyed this all the way there. 